So we're here at uh, the Warner Brothers Studios. This is the uh, the home of the Ellen set. Don't move, don't move. Here it comes, here it comes. Turn it upside down, put it in the water. So I bet you think this is the part of the show where I'm gonna say, don't try these experiments at home. And you're right, except there is one experiment we want you to try. Just look for the graphic that's right here that says, try it, that's your signal that you can try that experiment at home. Everything else off limits. Look, I've already given you homework and the show hasn't even started. I'm Steve Spangler, and I'm all about making science fun. For the last 20 years, I've been teaching ways to turn ordinary science experiments into unforgettable learning experiences. I have an amazing team who will do whatever it takes to affect the way people think about science. And to do that, I live by one motto. Make it big, do it right, give it class. Well, we're here at DIA. We are ready to go to the Ellen Show. Uh, it's a quick trip to Burbank. And now it's my job to just practice the demos. So I figure I'll just, just flip down the tray table and practice the demos and I'm gonna do on the show. I uh, actually am her bodyguard. I'm Carly's bodyguard. I speak into my arm. Sector one clear, sector one quick, and I just make sure that everything is fine. I always accompany her like this, like she's a criminal. Usually I like to take her hands. The other thing is we've learned how to merge into traffic. So there's a correct way to walk and a correct way not to walk. You better turn around because you're going to fall right now. Oh. All right, well, we're here at the airport, and I think I've got all the demos figured out for the Ellen Show because of my good friend here, Lopez. All right, so he and I have discussed this, and we know exactly what we're going to do in the Ellen Show. Tell him, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to wait, and everybody else will see later. That's right. See, he's a consummate professional because he knows you don't tell the demos ahead of time. you got to tell me the demo, but when you think of it, you tell me. So I, I got that. Well, here we are in lovely California, and I didn't realize this, but look at the Hollywood sign. It is so much smaller in person. It's so big on TV, but look at those letters right there. And right now, I think that it'd be a good idea for me to climb up in there. Sir, and I'm just it's gonna... time for you to go. No, yes. I just want to see the sign. Well, you see it, sir. Time for you to go. Okay. But I just wanted to see the sign. I just wanted to see the sign. Well, whenever we do the Ellen Show, uh, it's this is the time of the morning where we sit down and go through notes. So um, it, we do have notes. So go, kind of go through all the demos and just kind of make sure that everything is set and so forth. And then we're sitting here at the table with Carly and Jeff, and uh, there's a ton of science stuff that you can do with anything that you kind of find around you. So like what I got, a little diaper time. So if you can find yourself a diaper, you have all the makings of a great little experiment. Believe it or not, the secret uh, that makes these diapers super absorbent is this polymer that's inside. So um, you're gonna have to give me a couple minutes here, but you rip open the diaper and then you um, you kind of get the polymer out. <sighs> see, you start to even see it coming out here. Watch this. Oh, see the powder that's coming out? That powder <coughs> is the polymer that um, that is super absorbent. Okay, watch so this goes into um, to a cup. Here, I won't use all of it. Perfect, watch this. Here's this water, watch. So here's what makes it super absorbent, watch. Three, two, one. Isn't that awesome? So this is the material that's in the diaper that causes it to become super absorbent. It's a polymer that absorbs about 500 times its weight in water. So you can hide this, for example, in the bottom of one of these cups. Okay, so you see these cups here? They're perfect. So you just put this in the bottom of a cup. Okay, and so here is the powder. See, it's hiding here. So now this one goes on top and this one's here and then nobody knows it's there. So now you just have to find somebody to play along with you. Look, it's Jack. Jack manages the club up here uh, and we made kind of a mess, but I, wa I want to show you something cool. And disregard most of this. And the fact that when you do this and you open this up, it goes da-da, like this, see? There, this is a defect in the bottle. There are actually holes in the bottle like that. And that was her idea. So that's, that's her problem. But here, let me show you this. This is very cool. All right, so this, have you ever seen the three shell game? Sure. You know where you put the pee in one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so watch this. You put the water here. Okay, now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move them around, 
and you tell me where it is. Oops, it's not in that one. Yeah. Okay? All right. Okay, so you ready? Uh -huh. All right, watch this. This is going to be good. Okay, here we go. Okay, where is it? In the middle one, left one, or right? Whoa. Yeah. See, you're watching pretty closely. Okay, I'm going to give you a hint this time. Ready? It's not in this one. You ready? Oh, look, Elvis. All right, so now where do you think it is? Left, middle, or right? Oh, see, you're watching very, very, very closely. All right, so this one here I'm going to give you, um, okay, you know where it is. Got it? Okay, you ready? Here we go. All right here and here. See, it's not in this, so I did that on purpose. Ready? I'm doing this old switcheroo like this. Where do you think it is? Nope, not in this one, but that's a good guess. Okay, so now, <laughs> ready, you're going to keep going. Here we go, here and here. Now where do you think it is? The middle. Okay, not in the middle. Nope. Okay, keep going. All right, here and here. Where do you think it is? The middle. Okay, oh, that was close. Watch this one. See, the water's gone. It's gone. Ta-da! Wow. See, is that cool? How did, uh, you're not going to tell me, but... No, wow, when, you, when you weren't looking, I just went and I drank it. It was perfect. Get out of here. I was See, that's awesome. That was very, very Thanks, good. Thanks, man. Very All right, impressive. cool. There you go. Now, next Science time you see a diaper, diaper, see, it's the science of a diaper. All right, cool. And now you know. See, how cool is this to be able to do all of this? We are ready to go. We'll, uh, we'll head to the studios here in just a couple minutes. And nothing that we did this morning will be on the show. Well, here we are backstage at the Ellen Show. Not everybody gets to see this backstage area at the show. We're getting ready for the big finale. So we're using this big, huge uh, swimming pool. And uh, logistically, you know, you've got to work on things about how things are going to move in and out of the show. And so these are the pros that know how to make it work. I just stand here and wait for them to say go, and, and we'll head into rehearsal. So I think we've got the can pressure set. Oh, look at that. Look at this, this is Nerd Fest over here. Can you see this? I believe so. See? Tell your friend. She has to have a little gun. gun to make sure that the temperature is okay. It's ice water. We're scared, we saw some time One of the things I've learned uh, from the, the people here at the Ellen Show is not to telegraph things to the audience. So normally as a teacher, I just have everything sitting out there, but what I've learned is how important it is to keep things as kind of a secret. So when it's ready and they say go and they open the doors, everything kind of gets moved into place and the audience gets that real reaction. The other thing that you have to know is that um, Ellen doesn't want to see anything that has to happen with the science experiments ahead of time, so we keep things as shielded from her as possible, so it's completely a surprise when she gets to see it. So when she's seeing it for the first time, it's just like the audience seeing it for the first time. It just means we've got to practice a lot internally, making sure that we're okay. Go time, let's see how it goes. Back this way, see you. I have safety gla gla glasses ready, and I have the fire marshal standing by, and that can only mean one thing. Please welcome our science guy, Steve Spangler. Oh, yeah. I'm great. I never I, like to know what's happening. I like to be surprised with everybody else. So what are we doing today? My socks are from JC Penney's. Thank you very much. Thank you. My Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm fascinated with pendulums. I don't know about this, but you probably are too, aren't you? Sure. Yep. So uh, <laughs> maybe it's just the swinging repetitive motion. Maybe I have nothing to do in my life, but it's the, I like that. And so I was thinking, why don't we do something with a pendulum? And so look, it's a bowling ball mm -hmm. attached to a great big huge rope. Come here. This will be fun. If, if I pull it back and add some energy to it, like when you're pushing a kid, you know, on the playground, you're uh -huh. swinging a kid, you can make him go higher than how you started, okay. which could be dangerous, yes. right? So that's why I have this stand in right over here. This is Melon. Hi, Melon. And um, <laughs> Melon meet Ellen. <laughs> Awkward. And how do you know it's going to come exactly back? I, I don't. Okay. I just saw this on the internet. I so see. Um, <laughs> this is what I was thinking is I want you to stand in the place of Melon, OK? Yeah. So it's fine. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about that I, at all. I'm huh? not going to do that. But if you had a friend who wanted to. Lauren, come on out here. Oh, this is so awesome. So if you stand right here like this, I'm going to go get the bowling ball. I'll be right back, OK? All right, so now watch. 
If I bring this right oh boy. to your face, like this, let's see it to your nose, yeah. see how it's touching right there? Okay. And then I let go, it should not come back and hit you. Now, if you move, it could be dangerous. So that's why this wall is gonna come in behind you, all right? So here we go, watch this, bring in the wall. Keep <laughs> coming, so keep much. coming, keep great. coming. Thank you for Right everything. there, oh, that's perfect. So now, I'm gonna bring it right to your nose and it'll be great, all right? And it's for me, just in case, all right? So, because I have more experiments to do, okay. all right? Drum roll, please. Here it goes. Don't move. Don't move. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ah! See, you were fine. Everything was good. Me too. All right, good. <laughs> Let's hear it for Owen. So uh, what I was thinking was, is there another way to crush a can that would be better? And this is it, all right? So I've taken the cans here, these cans, and I put a little bit of water into each of the cans. Okay. So I'm cooking them on our little stove here. If we turn it upside down into this colder water that's here, you're gonna allow the air pressure to crush the can. All right, so which one do you want, Sprite or Coke? Which one? I'll take Sprite. Bingo, all right, so now you're gonna pick it up like this, hold it like this, and turn it upside down and put it into the water. All right. Ready? Turn it upside down, put it in the water. That was a nice one. Look at that power wow. that's there. Isn't that that's great? That's amazing. But I was thinking, this is your big show, and you would never allow just that to happen. So when I was thinking, I thought, what if we did it with a 55-gallon steel drum, all right? Because <laughs> who doesn't want to crush one of those? No, everyone needs to. Look at the setup here. This is oh. going to be really great. Yep. So uh, here's what we have going here. We have a 55-gallon steel drum. As he caps it off now, no more air inside, just that steam. And the molecules are going to go from 1,700 times farther away from each other than close by. And see the swimming pool? Some cold water. <laughs> Jeff, will you pour some water on it for me? So now watch this. We just have the air pressure pushing on it. And now it's condensing down. And now the weird thing is, <laughs> isn't that awesome? Come here. It's OK now. Listen, listen, listen. That's gonna fight. All right, well, let's, uh... <laughs> see, how, see how it's working? It's yeah. just kind of crushing. And the same kind of thing that we're trying to do to get kids excited, whether uh -huh. it's online or on YouTube yeah. or any other way that we're doing it. Well, it's always a lot of fun, Steve. Go to our website to learn more about Steve and his new YouTube show, The Spangler Effect. We'll be right back. Steve Spangler. <laughs> Well, if you enjoyed this week's episode, go ahead and click the subscribe button here. You'll be the first to know when a brand new episode appears each week. Uh, this button right here will show you some more cool science experiments that we do outside of this show. This button right here will take you to last week's episode just in case you missed it. And if you want to see the stuff that you shouldn't see, that's the uh, bloopers and the outtakes, well, just click this one right over here. And if you want to hear me stop talking through the magic of television, just click this button right here. Go ahead, click it, and I'll stop.